Ritama is a small to mid-sized deciduous thorny tree with smooth green stems that grows in a gently spreading, sagging, rounded crown shape. It grows best in wet or poorly drained, disturbed soils in South Texas and may be 20 foot tall. It is often confused or used interchangeably with Palo Verde, but can be distinguished by its long, drooping, twice compounded, dark green leaves that make it almost willow-like in appearance. Palo Verde tends to grow in drier upland sites, while Ritama tends to grow in more lowland, wetter locations. Ritama is considered a number two choice browse plant. Livestock, most exotics, and deer browse on the low-hanging regrowth leaves and seed pods when present. Quail and turkey utilize the seed pods as well during the summer and fall months. Crude protein averages 20% in the spring and summer months. Mature plants have thin gray bark while immature plants have smooth green trunks. Whitetail bucks love to rub their antlers on the younger, more flexible trunks, so having scarred up Rotama trunks typically results from having a good buck age structure. The leaves are 12 to 16 inches long, thin and flat with many tiny paired leaflets along the entire length. Each individual leaflet is oblong with smooth edges. Fragrant yellow and red flowers appear during the early summer. The fruit is a two to four inch long brown leathery seed pod containing up to eight individually constricted seeds. All wild critters, including livestock and nilgai, consume the ripened seeds and feral hogs are commonly found rooting under Rotama in the soft surrounding ground once the seeds fall to the ground. Prescribed fire will top kill Rotama unless the flames are extremely hot and it may kill the plant. Chemical herbicides are effective on it, but because it is a deep root colonizer, aggressive heavy equipment and or deep grubbing may be required to completely remove it. Rotama flats are also great places to find shed antlers in the spring since they are located in moist soil areas.